I think listen and basically spread the message really it's not just about we've discussed it. it's not just it's about both black and other minority ethnic groups so that there's a danger that we get pigeonholed but what we want is hopefully that people's awareness is being raised and that they've looked at their own value judgments and they're able to spread that amongst their colleagues and peers if you feel like you're a young woman who's a carer go to your doctors and ask for the care assessment because every single person in this country now has the right to that care assessment no matter who you are, you can ask for it at the doctors, anywhere. And you can get the assessments if you are a carer. You can be referred to a service like Bernardo's and get the help to become a confident young woman. So Mersey Care has a lot of women working for it. We're very fortunate to have lots of really great women for uh, working for us. Um, I was out this morning in a service that was almost completely run by women. And I just would like to say to every woman, woman that works in the Trust, happy International Women's Day. To be an open-minded person and to be able to ask those difficult questions and not to consider uh, somebody for, who follow a particular religion or have a particular colour um, is, is the same. So just be, be able to ask the question to safeguard as well as finding out. But open-minded is a really key for those. And not prejudge. And not prejudge. <laughs> <laughs> I think to speak out is the main the main point, um, because if you don't speak out then, like Darcy said, you can't get the help that's needed or the help that can be provided by services, even if you're not aware of that. If you speak out, you can become aware of it and receive the help and support given. When you ask that question to the girls about what would their message be, I couldn't sum it up better myself. I think they are so right. It is about speaking up. But I think us as professionals, us within local communities and neighbourhoods, we've got to be receptive. There's no point encouraging young people to speak up if we're not going to listen. So yeah, speak up is what we really want young people to do, but what we need to do is we need to listen and we need to do something with that. And we need to offer that support and ensure that those young people really can experience you know, outcomes on par with their peers.